Hello my Soccer Universe and welcome to the jersey review of the 2023 AFC Asian Cup which happens in 24 and if you remember if you have been a long time subscriber the first Asian Cup review I did back in 2019 so five years ago and we're gonna do it again as always the Asian Cup is an interesting mixture of jerseys that have been released already for the World Cup so we know them quite well of the teams that were there and then a very eclectic mix of different suppliers. In fact, we have a total of 13 suppliers. Of the 24 teams, six are supplied by Nike, four by Adidas, then three by Yako, and two by Kelman, and then everything else is just spread out all over. So this makes it always very interesting to look at the Asian Cup. On the flip side, as we'll see, there are a lot of template shirts, especially by smaller companies in there. That sometimes I would say the Asian Cup looks maybe a little bit more boring than it should, but we will see all about that. As always, when I do a jersey review, I take all my pictures from Football Kit Archive, a website that I always warmly recommend. Uh, and I'm doing this now after the first match day of the Asian Cup as well, so I've seen a little bit of the jerseys to get a little bit of better idea how they even look in game and you know confirming what is out there. All the jerseys are rated from a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best. I will uh, go relatively quickly over the jerseys that we've already seen at the World Cup. I look at it and I don't think my grading has changed a lot, so we don't need to go over these, but I will put a little bit more focus on the more uh, on the jerseys we have not seen yet, so uh, that's also for sure. I am planning to do this review since we also have to do an AFCON in three parts. Uh, in part one, we look at the jerseys from A, groups A and B, part two, C and D, and uh, part three, groups E and F. To mix things up a little bit, I also saw let's throw all the teams into one pot and go through them alphabetically. So we start with the team that I'm wearing, which is, of course, Australia, which we saw already at the World Cup. The home jersey is a decent enough jersey, but nothing exciting, so I gave it six. Uh, stars and then the away jersey while I think the colors are nice I hate that template so much especially this boomerang shape although this might not be that wrong for Australia uh, boomerang but uh, it just doesn't look right this was all purely uh, with the navy blue and then just the light uh, blue accents that would, this one would look much better three stars for this one as well for the next thing, which is China, we have a very similar template, but I have to say it actually works. I mean, true, I wish that the boomerang shape was in the same color as the rest of the body. It would make the jersey much, much nicer. I do like the China uh, Confederation crest, and I also like the yellow uh, sleeve cuffs. That actually makes it quite uh, nice looking. Again, nothing really exciting, but it does look a little bit, be uh, a little bit better overall. I still would give it only a six star rating. The away jersey though, yeah, what's that to do with China in a way if you like, yeah, okay, Jade, maybe Jade, uh, but I did the whole dot pattern and, and so especially the sleeve cuffs also look totally off. I think they're better, there can, there can be much better jerseys for China out there than what we see here. Uh, it's not for the template, it's really, I don't like, like this one all that much so i'm gonna go also with a three star rating for this one moving to the other giant country which is of course india who are now uh, supplied by performox um last time around i really loved the india jury they were made by 666 uh this time around i mean it's still the same great color scheme and there is a tiger print pattern on there which fits so very well with india However, I find that the overall, especially the top of, of, of the shirt, doesn't live up, up to it. I really don't like this little white outline behind the collar and even the piping uh, along the raglan sleeves. I think this always this cheapens, always something that cheapens the shirt a little bit if it's not done well. Um, I'm fine with the orange and sleeves. I love the pattern. The color for India are very unique and I really enjoy this, to be honest. So uh, I cannot fault them for that, but I think... Um, would like a little bit more you know a little bit more professional looking in a way now it's professional looking but you know uh it has a, a certain cheap look uh for that reason i'm also gonna give this only six stars although this jersey had the uh, uh, potential for a whole lot more the away jersey orange and then kind of black same-ish idea but i think 
I would have liked to see the light blue in there, but I'm not sure if, if, if I would. Uh, I actually think this is a tad worse for me than the home jersey. So I'm going to go with a five here. But so far, it's the best combo that we have seen. Still not great. Lebanon is by Kelme. And I'm sorry, I didn't find any better pick pictures. I mean, per se, this is your typically... Um, I was an Arab world jersey. It's a red and a white, a red white num number, with some weird patches in there, which are of course by a Kelme template. At least the pattern on there makes it interesting. And if the Kelme paw, it's uh, I would love if the color would go all the way around that we don't have the inside. I don't know who came up with the inside idea that that we need to have that now. That makes it also look a little bit odd. Again, nothing really bad, but it's also not very exciting. I honestly want to go with five here. And then the away jersey, I think, is way more interesting. Again, color, either go all white or go all red with that uh, point. But while I'm not very fond of the patches here on the sleeves and on the sides, I think that we have this chest band containing the crest that is actually a pretty cool design and then the double uh, line below. Uh, I actually do like this one quite a little bit. So I want to give this seven despite the weird patches, but I think this has potential. Uh, moving over Qatar, we already have seen that the home jersey Honestly, I was a little bit disappointed when this one was raised. It's just normal. The sleeve cuff saving and maybe the centralized. I gave it six stars. I'm going to stick with it. However, it's the away jersey that really um, piqued my interest. And, you know, if you watch my World Cup jersey re review, this is, uh, goes back to the Pro Divers. And, and so I think this is a really interesting jersey. An interesting pattern in there. Uh, it's actually a shirt that I have half an eye on. Let, let, let's put it that way. Eight stars for that one. I think this one is really, really nice. Going to Syria. I mean, you can almost say the same thing as I said for Lebanon. Um, however, I actually do enjoy the crest here with the falcon, I guess, in there. That also has the flag. Of course, there needs to be the ball. At least it is not super symmetric, so that's fine. It's a Yako template. However, it's not a bad one to, to, to be honest. Yes, we have the white collar, we have the white sleeve cuffs, and we have a sort of interesting pattern in there. So it's not a bad shirt, but it's also a very average shirt. Would I wish that this uh, jersey probably had a, uh, you know, a culturally inspired pattern? Yes, and that would, would make it even better. And a country like Syria has enough going on for it. Again, uh, I don't feel comfortable lifting it more above six, but I think among those temperatures where we'll see a whole lot, this one is actually quite good. Uh, the away jersey does the same thing, just flipping it around. I gotta say, I think I like it in red a little bit better than in uh, white, although the color sticks out better. So, but we don't need to discuss much more. I would also give this a six star. And then we're left with the two former Soviet republics. Let's start with Tajikistan. Sorry, I don't have much better pictures. Uh, this is one of the Macron teams that we have. Relatively simple Macron jersey, typically Macron collar. It's all uh, red. However, and it's not very well seen. There is a very interesting uh, pattern on the sleeve cuffs uh, that kind of adds a little bit more value to, to the shirt. Again, it is mostly a template. It's nothing that I can lift it really, really high. But of all the six star jerseys, this might be among my favorites. I wish that the pattern on the sleeves were a little bit more over. So again, it's not a bad jersey, but it's also not so, 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 so exciting. So we're going to go six here and look at the away jersey. Here you can see the pattern a little bit better. It's just a straight reversal. Again, it is not bad. It actually looks quite nice and so I'm also gonna give this six stars and we'll leave it with the last team that which is Yako. Again I did not have a better picture than this one from um, Football Kit Archive. However we have this is probably the best thing that we've seen almost I mean that's the Qatar weight way way jersey but I really like we have the blue it's a Yako template however we have the, color, the colors of the Uzbek crest. We have a very interesting pattern on there that is definitely reflective of uh, Uzbekistan, I would say. Uh, it has a little bit of star pattern in there as well. Here we have the really nice secondary logo 
which I absolutely love as well. This is a great jersey and in addition, blue and green is very underused as I always said and makes usually for a great shirt. This one I would say is a nine star despite it being a very weird picture that I have here. Uh, and the away jersey does very, very similar things. Uh, again, a very subtle pattern in there, but you can make it out. I think the way that the logos are placed is really cool. The color with the uh, national colors, I think it ticks many, many, many boxes. However, I think it lacks a little bit of personality that the blue jersey had. Still a really good jersey, but I would grade it down here to seven. And we are done with the first set of jer uh, jerseys. Please let me know which jerseys you liked in here, where you agree or disagree with me. Please drop a line below. I will be back with part two very soon and also with other things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.